I'm Jacqueline from the Make Code team, and we're here again with another wonderful episode partnering with the Microsoft Stores of Digital All Stars. And this is a show where all star athletes connect with their communities and show how you can use technology to build whatever you want. Um, and so I'm here with, uh, you want to introduce yourself? My name is Cyan. This is Cyan. You want to scooch over here so we can see you a little bit better? Um, and we're super, super excited to be hosting Dion Bush from the Chicago Bears. So D thank you so much for being on the show, Dion. Do you want to uh, introduce uh, yourself? Oh, yes. Uh, thanks, Jacqueline. Um, it's always an honor to um, hang out with you know, the Microsoft family and um, make code. But, um, yes, my name is Dion Bush. I play um, football currently for the Chicago Bears. And um, I'm very excited to be here coding with you guys. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, so tell me, what uh, what position do you play, and like, what's it like playing with the with the Chicago Bears? So um, it was great playing with the Chicago Bears. Um, I played strong safety. Okay. Um, been there for five years. Um, and um, it's fun. So um, it's, it's a blessing to be there. And now, strong safety. Does that is that? I'm. I apologize. I'm not a football expert. Is that defense or offense? <laughs> Yeah, that's defense. Defense, okay. okay. You like yeah, playing I'm defense, right? The last line I mean, of defense, more than offense. So. Oh, it's the last line of defense. Yeah, so if anybody gets past me, it's an automatic touchdown. Oh, dear. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you like playing defense, too, don't you, Cyan? Yeah. What do you like about it? Um, That you're not running, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like running. Yeah. Well, you have to run to catch the other person, though, don't you? Yeah, but it's Blocking. like it's like back and forth. Mm, okay. Yeah. You kind of just have to like make sure no one gets past, right? Yeah. Um. So, Dion, how did you first get into football, and do you play like any other sports or anything? Well, I'm a big sports guy. I, yeah. I grew up in football, basketball, running track playing a little bit of soccer. I play almost it all. And, um, oh, wow. So I started playing ball when I was around three years old. Um, got a lot of big cousins, a lot of, you know, I got a big brother that plays football as well. Um, my dad played football in college. Wow. So, <laughs> so I grew up around the sport, like around the sport of football. And that's how I got into it at an early age. Miami is huge on football. I see. Yeah. And you're originally from Miami? Yes, I'm originally from Miami. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three years old. Wow. I think um, you were just like learning to like run and stuff at three, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, <laughs> I was walk. still like... And walk. Yeah. <laughs> I was like trying to touch the water. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's early. That's very young to be to be in football. And you've been playing all this time. You don't get tired of it. You don't get kind of sick of it. Um, no, I I never really got tired of it because it, you know it's fun. It's a hobby to me. I love I love doing it. So that's like the great thing about being a football player is being able to you know work but have fun at what I do. You know, and, mm -hmm. and that's a big thing for me. Yeah. Yeah, and so especially right now with this coronavirus and the quarantine going on, I mean, think, I mean, it must be really tough for professional athletes. Like, how do you stay, you know, in shape and how do you exercise and practice? Yeah, so, you know, they closed down most of the parks, a lot of the gyms. So I kind of gained a lot of hobbies during this time. I was able to, you know, Gained the hobby of riding bikes. Um, I like to ride. and I like to see nature. So I like to just get my bike and just ride for miles and, you know, just watch, you know, what's going on in the world. And, you know, another big thing is running miles. I got, like, this little app. Um, it's like a workout app that I do in the house. And, you know, I've just been trying to take advantage of the time. Yeah. 
So another thing in, that you have in common with Cyan is riding bikes. You've been going for a lot of bike rides, haven't you? Yeah, I just learned how to ride my bike, so I'm like riding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you like about riding bikes? Um, I like to, I like wind wind in my face on a hot day. The wind in your face on a hot on day. A hot day. On a hot day. Yeah. I get hot. Really fast. Did you get a chance to ride in the in the mountains or in the nature? Uh, we all um, me and mom go. On, me, mom, and my brother go on bike trails sometimes. Yeah, yeah, we go on bike paths that are like by the river, right? But, yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. yeah. But we're not. We can't really do it right now because like, um, because it's like sunny on the weekdays when we have to be inside, and then like. Yeah. <laughs> and then like rainy on the weekends where we can actually be outside so yeah we're like opposite weather from you Dion what how, what what's the temperature in Miami did you say oh uh, it's close to 100 degrees right now so um uh, we're lucky to have the sun but it's a little too much sun hopefully um it cools down a little bit but you know I'm thankful that it's sunny outside yeah well hey we'll take some of that sun from you it's uh it's raining it's like it's totally raining and gray and cloudy here in seattle yeah. so it's no good oh, yeah. I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of coding here with Dion today. So Dion, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about um, why you think it's important for kids to learn coding or technology skills. Like why you think it's good that we're doing this. I mean, um, coding is very important, you know, for the future. Um, you know, a lot of things got to do with coding. You know, the entertainment, communication. You know, um, the Basically, the whole transformation of the internet has to do with coding. So, you know, you never know. 20, 30 years from now, you know, we might have robots doing the things that, you know, that we're not capable of doing. And, you know, it can save lives, change lives, and, you know, just, just the different communication barriers and, you know, things of that nature. So, and it's fun, you know. Uh, yeah. A lot of stuff, like a lot of video games, you see you see how the um, video games has, has changed from the time that I've been growing up to now. It's basically real, and, you know, it's yeah. just fun. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about video games. So um, do you have a favorite video game? We're going to be coding in Minecraft today, which I know is super popular with kids. But um, but did you have like a favorite video game growing up? Um, yes. Uh, one second. Um, I know somebody just said maybe closer to the microphone. Um, do you do you hear me better now? Um, feline. Feline River. Is that better? All right. I just turned your volume up, Dion, too, on our on our on our side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you said, what's my favorite uh, video game? Yeah. Do you have so, one? I love, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real video game player. I play, I'm a big, I'm a big Madden guy. Um, I play a lot of sports games, 2K. Um, I, I also play Call of Duty, uh, FIFA. Um, one of my favorites growing up is, you know, a racing game called Midnight Club. Um, need for speed so uh, I play a lot of video games <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah you like to play video games too don't you yeah what's your favorite Minecraft <laughs> Minecraft yeah so lucky for you we're gonna be playing Minecraft um, now the version that we're going to be playing is a little bit different so the version we're going to be playing is what education edition that's right so how is minecraft education edition different from other minecraft you can code in it you can code in it that's right so um so for those folks who want to try this out at home and kind of follow along uh, coding with us today you can download the Education Edition from this website, so education.minecraft.net slash download. 
Um, I will say though that you do need to have um, a school account, an Office 365 education account to log in. Um, so uh, if you don't know what your login is, um, you may want to check with your school or your teacher. Um, but chances are they probably do have um, licenses. So, okay, let's bring up Minecraft Education Edition. Um, now, Dion, have you, um, have you played Minecraft before? Um, no, I haven't played it. Um, I've been to a couple Microsoft uh, coding coding things, but I still haven't um, played it yet, so I'm excited to <laughs> uh, yeah. watch this. Yeah, so Cyan, can you, for those people who may not uh, be familiar with Minecraft, can you explain to us what is Minecraft? Minecraft is basically a game that you can either survive in or uh, or just play in mm -hmm. and let your imagination run wild. Yeah, it's just kind of like an open world, right? Yeah. But um, everything... Made of blocks. Yeah, everything I was just going to say looks very blocky. Yeah. Is that, that's just the... That's just the... Just the way things are there. Oh, look, what's that in the background? Is that like a cow? Oh, look at that. So there's like different animals and stuff. Um, Cave, yay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. The animals? Skeleton. Oh, no, I see a skeleton. Wait, look, go back. You're going too fast. I can't see. Okay, so is this the bad guy? This is like a bad guy yeah. that you have to stay away from? Okay. Or just... Oh, Damn. oh my goodness what's going on <laughs> he's on fire because he's in the sunlight <gasps> oh he's in the sunlight okay let's okay we're not gonna play sweetie we're gonna actually do some coding Yay. so um <laughs> you can tell she's a, like a total expert in minecraft right <laughs> <laughs> all right so tell us how do you start coding in minecraft you press C on your keyboard. Okay, so for those people who are following along with us um, with Minecraft Education Edition, you just press the letter C on your keyboard to open up this window, which is the Code Builder window. And this will actually let you code in the game. So, uh, so Dion, I thought since you were from the Chicago Bears that we could do um, a tutorial about bears. So yes. if you scroll... Scroll down, Cyan, um, and let's go to the mobs category. So what are mobs in Minecraft? What does mobs that mean? Mobs are, are basically like, um, it's basically like the, like the animals, the good hmm. animals or the bad animals. Okay. So mobs just stands for any kind of animal in the game. Yeah. Like the cows that we saw. What about skeletons? Are those mobs? Yeah. Okay. They're bad mobs. Oh, they're bad mobs. Okay. So, so what I thought we could do is we could do like the bouncing pigs tutorial, but instead of pigs, we'll do bouncing bears. How does that sound, Dion? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. So, I'm going to do it in blocks, but there are tutorials to code in Python or JavaScript, but I think we're just going to stick with blocks for now. Does that sound okay? Okay. All right. So this is the tutorial, and let's see, put code in the onChat command. So it looks like this onChat command already exists, So, but we don't need the onStart block, so how do we delete it, Cyan? You drag it into your thing you mow up. Into the toolbox, yeah. So any blocks you want to delete, you can just drag and drop into the toolbox. So let's rename this chat command. Instead of run, let's do like slime or um, I don't know what you want to call it. This is what this is what we're gonna type into the text into the chat window in the game to run our code. So, um, nah. you want slime? Okay. Do you want to do slime? Okay. Since since that's what we're doing here. Okay. So we re re renamed this chat command to slime. Okay. And then we need a fill block. Oh, we're not done yet. Nah. We need to go to the blocks toolbox category. Because it's green. Yep, because it's green. And we need to grab that fill block. And we need to find a slime block to fill, right? So... You can either search through here. Yeah, you can just, can... like, browse through <coughs> all the different blocks that or you Or you could... can go into search oh. and type slime. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I see it. Is it that green one? Slime yep. block. Okay. 
Now, so um, the way the fill block works is it takes um, a point A and a point B, right? So Sian, can you describe, can you tell us what these numbers actually mean? It's it's like a 3D, think of like a 3D cube. <clears throat> okay. And it's telling us the pool should span from negative 20, 0, negative 20, to positive 20, 0, and positive 20. So um, I thought maybe we could draw this out because coordinates are one of the most tricky things to do in Minecraft. So, and these coordinates are relative to the player. And um, how do we know that? Do you know, Cyan? Um, because... Because they have this like little tilde thing in front of them. What's a tilde? Like the little squiggly thing. Oh. I don't know the technical term, but <laughs> the squiggly mark means that the coordinates are actually relative to the player, so the player's position. And so, um, for example, here, um, if the player was like this guy right here, and we wanted to go um, negative 20, 0, negative 20, um, the x position, well, maybe let's draw a sort of box first. Um, I'm not really great at drawing. Hi. I don't know. Dion, are you, uh, are you an artist? Can you draw? Maybe that's not. Um, yeah, I'm not great at it. <laughs> <laughs> can I do it? Um, yeah, you can. Hold on. Let me just mark out the x, y, and z axis so people know what I'm talking about. So this is like the x, which is east-west, right? Mm-hmm. What's the Z? Z is north-south. North-south. And what is Y? Y is up-down. Up-down. That's right. Yeah. So, Cyan, can you mark out what negative 20, zero, negative 20 would look like? Um. If this, if the green mark is our player. Um. So the first negative 20 is an X. Kay. value, right? So, so negative 20, it depends on what, what say say this way is negative 20, is negative. Alright. Yeah, so say that's negative 20. And then zero means it's the same height as our player, right? Yep. And then negative 20 on the Z axis so it would be here. Yeah, so so basically we're saying go negative 20 here, right? Mm -hmm. from, the, from the x way, from the player, and then go negative 20 here uh, on the z coordinate, right? And then don't, don't go up or, at all. So here's one point. And then when we're saying positive 20, then it's the opposite, right? So this would be 20 on the x coordinate, and this would be 20 on the z coordinate. And so what we're saying is make a pool of slime that um, that's like this whole square. Fill it, fill this whole square, but don't make it thick, right? Because the y is is zero. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so you want to, let's just fill in these coordinates then. Um, and we can try it out and see what it looks like. If we want it to be thicker, we can always do that. Um, but that's, those are the coordinates we're going to use. Do you want to try it? Okay. Okay, so to, to run your code, what do you do? You press play. Okay. You want to show us? And it should automatically get... Oh dear, it's raining. What happened? It's like Seattle in Minecraft. <laughs> Can we make it uh, sunny again? Do you know how? I don't know how to do it on the keyboard, but I do know how to... Is I think it's slash. Screen? Yes, it's slash. Slash, and then you do weather. There's also this slash right here that you can click. Oh, nice. And then there's... Um, uh, weather what, is what we want, right? There's teleport time weather, so you okay. can make it daytime. Oh, nice. You can make it clear, clear. rainy, oh, cl or a thunderstorm. Great. So that's what we want. Okay. So now to run our code, do you want to run it? Do you remember how? Yep. Go into the... Go into the chat. And... What, what did we call our chat command? Slime. Yeah. We don't need a, a backslash, though. 
just type in slime. Yeah. All right, look at that. Okay, oops, what happened? Oh, <laughs> uh, we can't go through the slime. We fell through the slime. Yeah, look at that, that looks great. We've got one big thing of slime right here and we can bounce Whoa! on it. So it's like a, um, a trampoline. Dion, do you use trampolines at all in your exercise routines? Oh, I wish. Um, <laughs> I used to have a trampoline, but I haven't had a trampoline in so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so slime, I guess, good thing to know, tip to know, that slime in Minecraft um, is has bouncing properties. So, yeah. So that was cool. We just made this huge platform of slime just with uh, with one line of code, huh? Yep. <laughs> All right, so should we get back to the tutorial or what do you think? Okay. Okay, so how do we open it? How would we open up that code builder window again? C. Press C, that's right. All right, so next step. C for code. C for code, that's right. So add an event to run code when the player bounces. So let's see, I think it's maybe that on player. Sian, can you tell us what is an event? An event is like something that happens. Okay, like what? So like... Can you give us an example? The, if you eat your dessert, I mean if you eat your vegetables then you can have dessert. Mm. Um, the, uh, that sounds like a conditional statement. I mean, the, I mean, like, you ate your vegetables, so you mm -hmm. got dessert. So the event is eating your vegetables. Yes. Got it. Okay. Or, like, um, maybe when it rains, that's an event. Yeah. And that could trigger an action, like... Stay in inside. Stay inside. Yeah. Dion, can you think of another event? Not going to An the example of an event? Uh, hold on. Let me see. My thing is messing up. Oh, all right. So um, there, there was a question on the chat um, from Feline River. Can you please repeat which option to pick in Code Builder to set those coordinates? So in Code Builder, in your fill block, you want to set these coordinates: negative twenty, zero, negative twenty, and positive twenty, zero, positive twenty. And those are the from and the two coordinates or points where we're going to fill it with slime. So, all right. Um, yeah, so an event is really anything that happens that could trigger an action. Like, you know, it's 9 o'clock, time for bed, you know, kind of thing. So in this case, the Maybe event... 7 o'clock. Or 7 o'clock, yeah. It's your bedtime. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> what time do you usually go to sleep, Dion? Um, I'm, I'm an early bird. I usually go to bed around like 9 o'clock, 8.30. Yeah, yeah. I try and get my full eight hours or nine hours sometimes too. Um, okay, so this event is on player bounce. So whatever code we put inside there. You just choose bounce. Yeah, we just choose bounce instead of on player walk, so. Um, okay, add code to spawn a pig. But in this case, we're not going to spawn a pig, right? So can you uh, do that a little bit more slowly? What, okay, you went to the mobs toolbox drawer, you grabbed that spawn block, and you dropped it into this on player bounce block, okay. And you clicked on the animal, drop down, and we're gonna pick a polar bear, since that's the only bear in Minecraft. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Um, so people can see. Okay, on player bounce, and we're gonna spawn a polar bear um, when we bounce. Okay, and if you wanna get a hint as you're going through these tutorials, you'll see a little hint here, um, and it looks like we're good. Okay, to make things more fun, we need to pick a random position where the, pi where the um, bear will spawn. So I think it's in the positions. What do you think? Yeah. 
Okay, so open up the positions toolbox drawer. Probably because it says pick a random position. Correct, yeah. So it's going to pick a random position. And again, those coordinates are like a, a point A to point B coordinates. Um, so wait, wait. Let's figure out what coordinates we want this to spawn in. It doesn't say. I think we should go to the next step. Oh, Maybe. I don't know if it'll tell us. I think we have to figure it out on our own. Yeah, we have to figure it out on our own. I think it's going to be the same coordinates as the thing of slime, right? I mean, because it, I think, like, maybe one less so that it doesn't spawn at the edge and then just fall off. Fall off. Okay, so you want to do what? Uh, 19? Negative 19. Okay. No. Negative 19. Mm. One, nine. Uh, yeah. one, nine. Let me it's help you. It's hard to see the keys. Yeah. Um, and then I think we should spawn them up high. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, so they fall down. Okay. And then uh, and then we'll do positive 19 and then still 20 up. And then positive 19. Okay, so these are going to be spawning um, in a square area, but that's just smaller than our slime. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's move to another area. Well, yeah, it's just gonna. Polar bear. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at that. So keep on bouncing. See if they, there's more polar bears. <laughs> nice. Look, yeah. that one's right on the edge. Is it going to fall off? I hope not. A bunch are right on the edge. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're moving so slow. Yeah. Let's see. I think we have to be, like, right in the middle here. Oh, look at them. It's fun to see the polar bears bouncing. Yeah. Oh, look, that one's right on top of the slime. <laughs> nice. All right. Do you want to try spawning something else? Okay. Okay. Maybe we can spawn. Oh, don't. Oh, don't hurt oh. it. <laughs> I just want it to go down there. Okay. Because you're building your little slime structure here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do a little bit more coding, Cyan. Okay. So, um, so now let's let's code um, something else besides polar bears. Um, what should we spawn here? So, Dion, no. do you... What's your favorite thing? What's that? What's your favorite thing to do? What's your favorite Cyan? animal, Cyan? Uh, I don't have a favorite animal. You don't have a favorite animal? I love all my animals. Well, we have wolf, sheep, pig, you cow. Know, Let's spawn the wolves and then they can battle. With the... Do wolves and polar bears battle? I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> we can do a wolf. And do you want to do one other? Okay. So I can right click on any block and select duplicate to make a copy of that block. I think we've got enough polar bears. Yeah. So let's do something. So we've got a wolf and a polar bear. Uh, there's horse, ocelot, a donkey, mule. Skeleton horse, zombie horse, um, llama. You know what? It rabbit will, will be funny. What? What about mushroom cow? Oh yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't seen mushroom. So, cow. Dion, do you know what a mushroom cow is? Um, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they only exist in Minecraft. Let's take. Let's keep the polar bears. But I thought. I thought we've had like. Oh, you, you think we have too many polar bears already? Okay. <laughs> you want to do you know to do falling salmon? Okay. Okay. It'll be super funny. So we've got salmon, wolf, and a mushroom cow. You will see these mushroom cows, Dion, and you'll just be like, "What the?" <laughs> <laughs> they only exist in Minecraft. All right. Let's say, it. let's bounce. 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 Oh, what's bounce. Go, what's falling down? Mushroom cows. <laughs> Chickens and wolves. I see wolves. Okay, look, show Dion the mushroom cow. <laughs> so it's like. I'm looking for it. Yeah, it's like a cow 
with mushrooms <laughs> growing on it. Mushrooms <laughs> growing. Let's see. We've got wolves bouncing. We've got, uh, I think those are salmon falling. I quite, can't quite see. Maybe the wolves are eating the salmon. I see some bones. Aww. The wolf is now your tame, tame wolf. Wow. So let's, oh, there's the salmon. I see the salmon. <laughs> I think the. What's you going to name the wolf? He's like a like a dog. Yeah, he's like your tame wolf now. What are you gonna name him? Uh, guy. Guy. Okay, <laughs> guy the wolf. <laughs> oh wow, we've got a whole big slime area full of salmon and mushroom cows. <laughs> the, salmon. <laughs> the salmon are bouncing so high. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're just. And then, what are they, are they exploding up there? What's going on? <laughs> they're dying because they don't have water. Oh, they're dying because they don't have water. Oh, that's mean. I don't know if we should. <laughs> Although, the, oh, look, it's starting to rain. Maybe that'll uh, help. Make it, yeah. Will it, will it help if there's rain? They won't die as much? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's bounce and see. <laughs> yeah, I see bones and salmon all around. <laughs> All right, so um, if you thought, if everyone at home who's following along thought this was fun and interesting, you can do this coding activity too in Minecraft Education Edition. The tutorial that we did was called Bouncing Pigs, although you don't, it doesn't have to be pigs. It could be any mob or animal in Minecraft, and all you need is a platform of slime. So... <laughs> All right, so Cyan's probably going to be playing Minecraft now for the next hour, but um, let's close out on, <laughs> on this coding activity. Um, so thank you. I just you want to finish this. You, okay. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Right, so thank you so much, Dion, for uh, for coming and coding with us today and spending some time talking about uh about what it's like to be a professional football player. Um, do you have any sort of last minute advice or tips for all the students who are kind of stuck at home and, and studying from home? Um, well, I do got some advice. Um, continue to take advantage of um, your time and, you know, learn new things and find new hobbies. And, and if you're tuning into this video, you're already, you know, doing that, taking advantage. So. Um, it was fun being here with um, um, you, Jacqueline, and Cyan.